early hours of July 17, Beoji City in Shaanxi Province experienced continuous heavy rainfall, resulting in the overflow of the Shiba River and its tributary, the Weiyu River. The Beoji Meteorological Observatory upgraded the rainstorm warning signal to red in response to the severe weather conditions. The heavy rainfall led to widespread flooding in various parts of the city. A mudslide caused a breach in the Shiba River, which swept away vehicles along the riverbanks and caused significant damage. The underground garage in the Shinji community was heavily flooded, with water levels rising quickly and causing extensive damage to parked vehicles and property. Streets in the area were covered with river mud, making transportation difficult and posing additional hazards. The flooding and landslides disrupted local infrastructure and daily life, with many residents needing immediate assistance. As a precaution, authorities suspended 70 trains passing through Beoji Railway Station to ensure the safety of passengers and rail staff. The suspension of train services impacted many travelers and disrupted the region's transportation network. In response to the flooding, local authorities evacuated 823 households, totaling 1,289 people, to safer areas. Emergency shelters were set up to provide temporary accommodation and essential services to the displaced residents. Flood control and emergency rescue efforts are ongoing, with teams working around the clock to manage the situation and provide assistance to those affected. The local government has mobilized resources and personnel to reinforce riverbanks, clear debris, and restore infrastructure. Meanwhile, in Henin province, a small town experienced an unprecedented amount of rainfall, receiving almost a year's worth of rain in just one day. The extreme storms that previously battered southern China have shifted to the central and northern provinces, bringing heavy rainfall and severe weather conditions. On Tuesday, Defenjing had recorded 606.7 mm of rainfall within 24 hours, the highest amount of rainfall recorded anywhere in China during this period. This amount is staggering compared to the average annual rainfall of 800 mm in the area.
，一慢慢掉。哎呀，这水大的很吓人。The Fengjing, located within the city limits of Nanyang, saw authorities implement the most severe flood control measures early on Tuesday. The authorities took swift action to protect residents and property, recognizing the potential for significant damage and disruption. The vast region where Henan, Shandong, and Anhui provinces meet is forecasted to experience particularly heavy rainfall through late Tuesday, according to weather forecasts. 说说，待会儿屋里谁跟外边路上一样的高？八太上前不见完，当西边六十公分也前不见没完了。In response to the severe weather, Sichuan temporarily shut down numerous train lines in suburban areas early on Tuesday after issuing an early warning for thunderstorms and flash floods. Authorities have placed the northern region on high alert for heavy rains since late Monday, with various agencies taking measures to counter the impact of the heavy rainfall. In China's northwestern province of Gansu, Kang County flagged a red alert for rain and issued warnings of mountain torrents and urban flooding. The local authorities are closely monitoring the situation and have put in place measures to protect residents and property from the potential impacts of the severe weather. The middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River are also experiencing a resurgence of flood water, pushing the region into a critical period of flood control. The Yangtze River, China's longest river, is closely monitored, with authorities adjusting water discharge from the Three Gorges Dam to help reduce flood control pressures in provinces such as Yubei, Hunan, and Jiangxi. The Three Gorges Dam, which started flood discharges on July 10, aims to create more capacity for incoming floods from the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. The Chinese government and local authorities are working diligently to manage the flooding and provide assistance to affected residents. The focus is on minimizing damage, ensuring the safety of residents, and restoring normalcy as quickly as possible.